All right. Hi, guys. This is Lachi Punnett. I'm with El Prez and Tim Tom the Bim Bomb. And special guest. I'm the Penguin. Dank Engine for this. Right, 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 you can, he's you, the Dank Engine. You are whatever we want to call you. Uh, and or. Wow. Um, and we've got special guest Penguin420 for our recap of Kirito Goes Fast. Um, yeah, so I guess we let's go to it. What do you guys think? Set is not nearly as good as you were saying it was in our bandless video. I totally think it's agree. top 10 in the game. It's top 10 in the game. I just set. Uh, I think it's on the edge somewhere. You could easily, you could just, you could make a good argument for it being top 10. I think. Yeah, there's a bunch of really great, um, there's a bunch of really great decks in the game right now, but I reckon I it's, this is top 10. I think its strengths are kind of buried a little bit. It's, um, it just has a really monstrous mid game and pretty. It's mid, it's mid game is pretty good, yeah. Yeah. But it, its finishers are like, eh, okay, but, um, I think there's a lot to be said for a mid game that's as strong as this one. Mm-hmm. Well, super strong end game's not even like. No, it's not bad. It's like some it's, it's perfectly... decks that have worse end games than this deck. Like this deck has a solidly strong. End. I'm talking about the blue right now. Like, Eme is pretty good, but the blue has a strong end game. That's a strong. End game. I I don't know if I call it strong. Sack count is still pretty. As long as it's on reverse, it'll never be strong. It'll just be fine. No, but the output is high enough where. Like, would you use a sack counter if you had four stock and you were level two? For example, for example, like hypotheticals, you would never use a sack counter. Right? You would bank on living. If you're level two, you're not dying from no like two curse. four two five like two four. You're not four. dying, so it's not that bad because your output is so high. But you can die because with the burst, you're three zero, right? That's not gonna happen that often. I uh, know. I did. My friend did like five rounds of that. Okay, you can quote individual games, but that's not how probability works. Oh, five? Like I think Mario killed people from what two, 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 right? Sorry, Consistent sorry, sorry, sorry. with three. <laughs> and if you were like, it's it doesn't happen anymore. It's it's not. That's not how probability works. I, I could say I mill two level threes with a pretty teammate. That doesn't make it like amazing or explosive. It's just, you know. I don't know, man. I love anime, but I think... I, I don't know. I, I think CXL will be in top 10. That's all I'll say. Disagree. It is. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but I don't think it's, like, outrageous. It doesn't have to be outrageous to be top 10. This is true. You know, I think the deck is top 10, simply because I can't think of that many decks I'd put above it. And decks I do put above it are just... Good, and I can see Excel World standing a good chance against them. Yeah. That's all I have to say, really. Uh, I think it'll slot into the meta pretty well. Not not least because Japan really likes long straight black hair. Um, and I think it's going to start putting up some really good results. I expect a lot of trios are going to be Monogatari, um, Triad Primus, and Excel World. I, I just think that's going to be the case. There are Vegemites on the line. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. That it is. Which build ultimately you guys think will become the meta build? In like, not Japan land, not Japan land, like, the, uh, ultimately. The optimal build? The what? Uh, right. Probably, probably yellow, blue. <clears throat> yellow, oh. blue, splash red for Nico. Yeah, I think I can see that. I like green a lot. I, I think I like it's got green green great snowball potential. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's. Oh jeez, these prices are whack. Yeah, mm. these prices are real whack. No, I would definitely um, I would I I want to champion green. I think it's really good against mediocre and bad players. But if we're talking like actual good players, then it's really hard to say. I like green myself. Hold on. Church of Borden. All right, <laughs> let's go. Let's let's go through the um. Let's go through the colors and. 
your favorite colors, what your favorite cards in each color are. So let's go with yellow first. What's the best card in yellow? I mean, I mean the. I'm gonna the say the one zero is the best card in yellow. I agree. I think it's the one zero. Then it's the followed human, by then the runner probably. I, I I would put the level three above the runner. No, the level three than the, the runner. I would put the brainstorm above the runner because the brainstorm is just like it's so like it's it's such a good card all throughout I agree. the entire game, right? I don't like I don't like having the runner in the top three. I think that it goes, um, it goes the one zero, then it goes to the accelerate um, augmenter, the one that has the yeah, that. yeah, yeah, the global, and then it's a toss up between the brainstorm, the level three, and I think the brainstorm wins. I think the brainstorm goes in more decks. I think the brainstorm is just a good card, especially yeah. with the one zero. Like right now, my list is the one zero and two cards that work really well with the one zero, and I think that's justified because I I think that's how good the one zero is. Yeah, I think I would agree with your placement of the yellow cards. Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's just the human is like really like shy on being fourth or even third. It's the level three one, I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fourth. I think I think it's still above the runner, but it's. It's close. Yeah. Alright, how about green? Uh, What's in green again? <laughs> well, green's got I... the, the bad Azusa. It's got the minus two soul accelerator. Um, um, it's got the climax combo to stock, and it's got the climax, not climax, the accelerate to summon from clock. All of these I cards think, seem bad. I think it's the Azusa first, followed by stock. The, 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 the bar, gold bar combo, and then. Okay, so I'm going to go Azusa, then Gold Bar Combo, then 2-1 yeah. Ash Roller. The swag. <laughs> I mean, swag. <laughs> I, I okay. just... Ash Roller, though. Uh, I actually like Ash Roller, though. I feel like the level 3 deserve, Like, the green is... Like, overall, the green the color overall is not okay. very good. So what, what I reckon is, if you're running green, then the level 3 is a big part of it. Yeah. But I think before that, you'd rather run the one zero and in order to run green at all your fixing is the zero zero azusa yeah so the one zero would be part of a green build Wait, the azusa i don't like, talk about prs but i think the pr is actually like probably the best card in green unfortunately i think i have to agree with you simply yeah. because it fills a role that the deck that all your decks want you know um better than anything else in the set i don't know about being the best card in the set because just in terms of raw power the azusa's a lot higher in my opinion. Maybe, maybe. Mm. Yeah, like in terms of raw power. Because um if, if, if I can if I can grade the one zero Hime highly, that card has a pretty bad fail case. Like if you accelerate and fail to reverse, then that's really bad. If you're like obviously you're not gonna do that, you're not gonna play in a way that's bad. But its floor is high um its floor is low and its ceiling is high. <laughs> Kind of like this Chiri, which I kind of have to give number one to. So yeah, <clears throat> that's what I give. The PR, I guess you can rate it. I, I just yeah. want to put I, I want to put Ash Roller in my rating. That's all. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not budging. I would go the other uh, PR, the PR, and then the over. Yeah, sure. I go like it's between. See, if, I, if I put the PR in, I have to take out Ash Roller. It's, it's not not something I want to do. Yes, I do, if I want to be more correct about things. Okay, there are two Ash Rollers, can you specify which Ash Roller? No. The two one, uh, that gets an extra 6k if your okay. army attacks the level 3. And one, talking about the global, right? Yeah. And double double stock from top deck when you kill something. Look, yeah. since my vote is a joke vote, since I'm not including the PR, I'm going to go number one Ash Roller. Number two um, Ash Roller. And number three, uh, Line Metal. No. No, I'm not allowed. I'm not going to do that. Number two, it'll be the two-two anti-damage, and number oh, three, it'll be <laughs> the the three-three Nix. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, oh god, top tier, dude. Okay. Hard yeah. to argue with that logic. All right, red. <coughs> um. I'm putting Nico in card first. I, I have to, it's the best card. Then I put the Nico heal. I think it goes... I'll just reverse those two. I think the um, back row popper is a... Uh, 
No, I think it's probably the Nico Heal hard, and then the um, Accelerate Salvager on the is it on reverse right? The beater. Wait, which part? The mm-hmm. Nico part? Oh, the, yeah. the globe. Okay, the one. You guys, you guys didn't put the early play at all. No, me. I put the early play Nico first. Level three. Mine, mine's number two. Yeah, I put the level number three. three. I'm waiting to see what everyone else says. Level three first, I think. Uh, yeah, I think the Nico part second and the backer killer third. Oh. Is that what Tom said? No, oh, I put the uh, one zero Nico accelerator. I, I want to put those two like together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they're, they're kind of like they're two separate cards. I know, but like it's like it's hard. It's hard because I don't want to like. I think the backer part was so good, but like <laughs> I kind of want to. <laughs> Look, I mean, everyone, everyone who we, everyone who listens to this is going to hear this. So if you can say that, I think these two are both really good. That's enough. Yeah. Now I'm going to go on the record saying that since you guys have talked about how these cards are good, and I think personally, if I had to rank them, the two one back row popper would be third. I'm going to go ahead and put the maid level X as third because she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm satisfied with the level of the back row popper got exposure. Now is she cute because she's a maid or just because? She's actually just cute. She's I'm talking about I'm 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 talking about the one where she's not even in a maid uniform, guys. I mean, she's not in a maid uniform for any of these cards. And her uh, exactly. X she is, is for the, she is for the one zero. Her text is just yeah. K. 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 Yeah. K. 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 I love Adam May. All right. What about Blue? Mm-hmm. Probably you don't know it. Uh, Fook. Go the zero zero Fuko the sorry the accelerator no, zero zero Skyraker Skyraker is number one surely Skyraker has got to be number one Skyraker can't be can't be close um then I think I give the zero zero Fuko the accelerate to uh, sure. check top three and add one ditch one and number three I'm gonna uh, I really don't want to do this but Aqua Current can have it which one's Aqua Current. No, no, wait, no, it's not, not Aqua Current, it's Purple Thorn. Purple Thorn can have it. Wait, the that? card that enables a whole deck? Oh, yes. shit! <laughs> <laughs> I think before I give it to Purple Thorn, I give it to the Accelerate look at top two. I'm going to be real. Well, uh, I put Purple Thorn as first, so... I'm sure you did. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Purple Thorn. Like an abuse of the system. Uh, the sky. I, oh, would you actually put Skyraker before? Because I, I kind of agree with Dank Engine here. Like the the level zero Fugo might just be because it can be played in more decks, right? It might just be better. Is it? If you're playing that, you're probably playing Skyraker. Because mm. why else do you play blue level one plus? Well, because like, cause, no, because the level zero blue is just strictly better than the level zero yellow, right? In terms of like playing the meta, if you had to play a meta deck and you needed like an accelerate proctor at level zero, why do you need an accelerate proctor at level zero? Why do you need yeah? Why do you need an accelerate proctor at level zero? What accelerate cards at level so zero? Your, one? Say, your, say, your opponent, say your opponent turn one uh, dishes like three climaxes. Suddenly you try field reverse one of his guys and you get like a search two and you just like you hit him up to like level two almost like that's just strong I think to have that like. Ability. Wait, you're not gonna get him to level two. Well, you hit him to like one four, one five. Like it happens, right? These kind of game states happen, that's and you not, just like that's not level. game losing. That's not game losing. Hmm. That's not game losing. Wait, how do you, how do you even do that? Like you don't have the stock to begin with. No, because you. I said try field. Because if you get a if you get a double search. Okay, so that, turn you one, turn one, out. you get like an. A... All right, sure. Like, turn one, you attack once. Turn two, um, they play a card. Turn three, you try field, slam a climax, and kill one of their cards, get, like, maybe two cards back, and they're at one four. Then they kill all three of your characters. You are at zero five. If you tempo it that way, they can hit level two. If you tempo it that I, I meant literally they go first, but they're dropping three climax, and you just immediately try field if you had the hand to do it. But how do you do that? You don't have the one stock to get the second um, accelerate augmentation. Why can't you? You just attack with it last, dude. Accelerates the beginning of climax phase. Is, is yeah, you know, no, but you pay. The ability is yeah. pay on reverse. Like, you know what I mean, right? Ugh. 
I yeah. still wouldn't do that if they were at like zero one. They're gonna That's... only go to like probably one one zero maybe, and then you lose three cards despite having gained two. Uh, no, no, you, you only gain you only gain one because you played a climax, and at that point you are actually in danger of just not having cards in the mid game. No, but you only, you only do this when you get the no value loss from the player, right? I, I don't know. I'm just you saying... are gonna lose value. You are losing value though, because you're just gonna lose cards on the flop this way, Matt. Yeah, your card, your card's gonna die to their one zeros or their remaining zero zeros. It's gonna happen. That's just that's just how the game goes. It's how you make comebacks, um, even though you get knocked to like two zero. But if you tempo it differently, say they're they're actually a zero five, and you make a play like this, where you just expend all. Yeah, if they're zero five. And it's oh, more, for zero five, it's, it's more just a five. Yeah. But like, but at the same time, they probably the if they still if they cancel once, then you've already lost a lot of value. Yeah. My point being, like, I feel like the meta, like, if there was the meta list, there should be an accelerate proper at zero just to have that option. And I think you would choose the blue one over the yellow one, right? Unless you can search. Yeah, if you're, yeah. That's not the reason why you run it level accelerate level zero. It's you run yeah, it that's just to get you get you run it to get value at level, at level zero. one. You run it for the level one at value. Level one. If you get level zero value, you can't value the level zero value over like. The third copy of your prop of your accelerator himself. What, what I mean by level zero value is like it's not necessarily value in terms of advantage. It's that. Okay, so so here's here's oh, yeah, you're talking about tempo, it. but the problem is the temporal advantage isn't great enough to just win you the game off that turn. Like so. Yeah, yeah. So here here's what I think. Aside from like even let's assume that you're playing plus two souls and your tempo does get them to two zero and you're in a huge hugely advantage situation. Let's assume all that. Now, in order to even have this card early on, you're going to need to run at least two copies, probably four. Like, four is four is safe. And if you're doing that, you are not running any copies of the Hime or the Searcher. And I believe that the Searcher at level one is without a doubt better than the, um, than the Fuka one. Like, this is, this is not questionable. You get a selective advantage rather than choosing from the top two. That is massive because instead of tutoring from the top two, you are tutoring from the top 30. That you is an need, industry. You don't need to run four, dude. You just need to run like two or three because you just need to open with it. one accelerate okay. card and proc all of your global searches, right? So two you'll... or three is already more than I'm willing to run. Like, if I ran any, it'd be like one. Because I think that the Hime is that much better at level one that you'd rather save up for that. Well, you'd run both. You'd run, I don't know. I don't... Yeah, yeah, but if you, if you run if you run two, two and you get stuck with the Fuko at level one, then you've got a fail case as well. Like if you if you prop that, yeah, you get a card, but that card could suck. Like it could no, it could be a card that you don't. You're still running run. four humans, dude. Like Hime is just a like it's a glass cannon that's just five hundred more than other glass cannons. It's just. It's I don't I don't think you have that much room at level zero. Uh, I don't think you want to spend that many slots at level zero. Like you've already I got four runners. Need to play. I'm just hy hypothesizing. It might be like. Terrible, but like look look that's fine, but yeah. let's 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 go with the level zero lineup Let's say we've got three runners. We've got four three four brainstormers We've got two to four green cards whether they be the clock um the clocks clock um swapper or they're the us so whatever and then you've got like your um, augmenter slot so that yellow or blue where exactly is the red splash? Where is the red splash you need in order to play level three Nico? Well the mill three suicide dude Okay. Yeah, but so you're almost at. Space? You're basically at like six. Things. You're basically at like 16, fifteen zeros, right? Fifteen sixteen, right there. Well, I'm I'm referring to the Raker deck, the uh, Hime deck. Because if you're playing the Hime deck, you wouldn't even play that zero, right? You would play the you play the, the Bard and the Nico, right? Uh, oh, I guess if you're red blue, yeah, yeah, sure. You play Pard and Nico. Yeah. Um, because you wouldn't play the the level zero, the 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 really good one in yellow. You just play Pard and Nico instead. You still up, wants. Oh, I guess you just play the um, you just play the, you can play the red brainstorm to be honest. Uh. Anyway, look, that's something that we can experiment on, or you can experiment on. I don't have the cards. Well, I, I'm busy playing but, uh, three, so I wouldn't know. Dude. <laughs> all right, all right, man. That's that's cool. Once you're done uh losing with that deck, you can move on to an orthodox deck and let us know how it goes. You can also let us know how much of my tastes. Yeah. It's it's really not that bad, you know. Uh, so let's um why, let's why move to you, closing thoughts. Why Anyone do you have any thoughts they want to say? Uh, I don't know. Why do you people call um? Why do you people call scones biscuits? 
I've never heard it called scones wait, before. Wait, we call it wait, we call them biscuits? And they're scones. Yeah. Scones, scones, scones. Potato, potato. Wait, we don't call them biscuits. Those are yes, two different do. things. Yeah. You, you go to you go to Popeye's chicken and biscuits, they give you chicken and scones. What? I, there's definitely a difference, right? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are but they are buttermilk scones. Look them up. I, I'm googling this right now. Buttermilk scone. What is the difference between a British scone and an American biscuit? Wait, no, they don't give you that. They don't give you that at Popeyes. The biscuits at Popeyes are scones. They are buttermilk scones. Okay, okay, so there are some rules here. Scones always call for sugar, but biscuits do not. No, they don't. According to In a no, bowl they don't. combined way. According to the internet. According to what on the internet? Scones can be savory. They can? Yes. <laughs> no, but like, Starbucks has both scones and biscuits. Starbucks is American. That is true, but I'm just saying like... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, sure. So, okay, sure. So that that's fair. But what they refer to as biscuits there are just savory scones. Buttermilk scones. The sort of scones that you can... They're like evolved from English muffins that you can eat with bacon and sausages and smear savory jams on. That's just a scone. Mm. Wait, can I eat my Vegemite with a scone? No, you get a biscuit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get a... <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what Canadia does, but if it's a savory scone, like a, a nice buttermilk scone, maybe <coughs> with some roasted pumpkin or something, then yeah, you can. It's probably not inadvisable. Wait, Vegemite, like, what's the taste? Describe it for me, Ben. Uh, unbearable, sinful agony. Oh, no, 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 like, let's be realistic, because, like, I appreciate Thousand Year Old Egg. I like the taste. I love it. I like sticky tofu, too, but, like, how, what, what does Vegemite taste like? Vegemite is salty beyond, it's like, it's like if the collective of foreign cried <laughs> for about two hours, collected all of the salt, colored it, like, okay, um, they... It's it's a yeast based extract that's extremely salty. Okay. So I have to eat it with toast. Then. Sorry. I have to eat it with toast. Then, or is that not allowed? Um, what do you I eat can't remember what with? the. Um, I have it with uh, usually rice crackers or buttered toast. Um, it can be in uh, scones. You can uh, there's a there's a pretty popular thing at our ba at our one of our bakery chains called a Vegemite and cheese. Scroll, oh my god, which Vegemite's is owned like by an twist. American company. Yeah, yeah, it's owned by um uh uh Fred Walker. Mandela's International. Oh sure, whatever. It's an American company, but it is a uh very it's a very Australian thing. It's like how Kraft has branches everywhere. It's like how Cadbury has branches everywhere except America. Yes, we don't get you Cadbury guys not eggs. having. You guys not having Cadbury chocolate is really miserable. I'm sorry for your loss. We have it in Canada. Yeah, Canada has it, but America doesn't. I mean, oh, from what I hear about Cadbury eggs, I don't think that's going to contribute to American society. Um, that's because um, uh, I've had uh, kisses. They smell like literal feces. I'm very sorry if you think that's good chocolate. No. It's yeah, just chocolate. I'm, I, I'm, I'm very sorry if you think that's chocolate. Man. <sighs> but the um, point is, yeah, Vegemite is usually eaten with biscuits, uh, like I said, with scones or scrolls. Or I've seen people eat it with crackers and cheese. Uh, that's probably fine, I guess. Wait, wait, um, wait. Can I get, eat the Vegemite, the, like the craft one that is in a cheese spread? Because that's available in Canada. Uh, that's cheating. Okay, I'll it get has it. To be, it has to be the real stuff. You can have like butter on it because that's ben fine. My save on foods. See if you have it. Oh man, there's a Wikipedia article on the cheesy mite scroll that I was just referring to, and it literally it references Baker's Delight and Brumbies. That's impressive. Okay then. All right. So, I guess that's it for closing thoughts, Vegemite. Yeah, uh, more or less. It's it's really not bad. Like it's 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 like <laughs> natto or um 
uh, like dried dates or there are lots of things that people just Beef don't boyo. like. Above. Like what? Beef boyo. What's beef boyo? Bullion. Beef boyo. Bullion. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that sort of stuff. Um. Yeah, no, nah, stuff's fine, and uh, you'll probably enjoy it when you uh, inevitably get sacked by Samus' voice in <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Man. Dude, I'm famous with Samus' voice. They don't have a way to deal with my... Yeah, yeah but you're not favored against Samson, oh God. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure, like, Samson, if you listen to this, I'm pretty sure I've never lost you in my entire life. You've never lost to Samson? But we all know Samson poisons to your deck. He 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 hasn't been trying against you. He'll crush you with his with his true deck, his sealed weapon. Oh my god! Mono blue, mono blue project Eva. <laughs> Kaito waifu. Yeah. All right. So All right. that's that's, so it. that's it. Um, yeah, that's that's um, that's a cell world. The signing off. Yeah, uh, top two tiers and some random memer called Penguin420. I love that anime. Yeah, next set will be Kiznaiva. We'll be with that one, hopefully promptly, because we've caught up now. We were behind for a long time, because Gotchusa sucked. But, um, yeah. We could not uh, be bothered. Yeah, let us know how you feel about Axel World in the comments. You can like, dislike, share to laugh at, share to spread, or... Or just watch our Bamboo's yeah, video check. and make angry comments there. Yeah, contribute to that one. I, I took a screenshot of our Bamboo's video when it had 420 views. I thought some people would appreciate that. Yes. All right, so, so that's it. That's us signing off. We'll see you next time.